Are second generation or atypical antipsychotics more effective than first generation or typical agents for the treatment of cognitive deficits? The answer to this question has raised an intense debate in the research community. Some studies suggest that second generation agents are superior to first generation antipsychotics in improving cognition. On the other hand, researchers point out that these effects are relatively weak compared to the severity of the impairments. They also argue that the KD trial showed no evidence of benefits of second over first generation agents. This trial is free from pharmaceutical funding and was sponsored by the National Institute of Mental Health. What are the goals of treatment when using antipsychotics in schizophrenia? Let's divide them in two broad categories. Acute treatment, the goal is the management of psychotic symptoms and agitation if present. Chronic treatment, the goal is the prevention of relapse and improvement of psychosocial function. Chronic treatment poses big challenges such as medication discontinuation, which is associated with higher relapse rate and poor prognosis. How does the clinician choose the right antipsychotic among so many options? The effectiveness of an antipsychotic, the effectiveness of an antipsychotic varies according to clinical circumstances. Several factors influence the choice of one antipsychotic in particular. The first is previous response to treatment. A thorough history about treatment response is helpful in determining which agent might be the most suitable for an individual patient. Also, the adverse effects profile needs to be considered. For example, high-potency drugs such as haloperidol have a greater risk of producing extrapyramidal symptoms. Weight gain and metabolic effects are a concern when using second-generation antipsychotics, mainly olanzapine and clozapine. Hyperprolactinemia is seen when using drugs that block the tuber infundibular pathway. This includes all first-generation antipsychotics, risperidone and paliperidone. Let's see the summary for this video. Antipsychotic, both first and second generation, are effective for positive symptoms. There is a need for better treatments for negative and cognitive symptoms. Antipsychotics are used in the management of acute episodes and in the prevention of relapses. Adverse effects profile and previous response to a particular agent can help guide antipsychotic choice.